Hey guys, Michael here from Dapper Raptor Development and I'm just going to do a quick overview on the two new features that were added to Survivor Vision in version 1.3. Um, the integration process and setting everything up is still the same so you can still refer to the previous tutorials for that but this will just go over the two features both of which have been very highly re requested. So the first one is an exclusive x-ray mode so if I jump into the demo here we run down to the obscured edges and fill demo section. So I'm just going to show them one at a time. We've got this red guy here. His highlight shows up both when not behind things and behind things, if that makes sense. So you can see both the x-ray mode and the normal mode. Same with this fill. The re request I had, because you can turn off the x-ray mode, but you couldn't turn off the non-x-ray. The request I had was to make it so you could only highlight things that are hidden which we've got here now. So this guy here has both a fill and an outline effect and it will only apply to bits of him that are hidden behind other objects. So that's that one there. That's really easy to set up. Um, we're using the demo material here but you'd actually want to go into materials, survival vision, children and open up the default material. But they look, ex they look more or less the same, just a few different settings. And you want to look for in the depth group you're working with, this option here. Outline obfuscated edges exclusively, and there's one for fill as well. Um, so, fill obscured faces exclusively. So you can just turn that on and off. Excuse me. So that's that one there, that's um, super easy to work with. The other setting is for dynamic highlights. So one of the things that a lot of people wanted was the ability to highlight what the player was looking at, particularly with mouse cursor. So I've set up a little really quick... Um, it's not in there. I think I did it in the demo character. Yeah, so I've just done this really, really super rough thing where when we hold Alt, the mouse cursor is visible. So I'll show that here, you can just see, and the idea there is that we can just see what we're pointing out rather than trying to guess. And if we go back into the controller, so this would be your own controller if you follow the implica implementation, uh, and click on Survivor Vision Manager, we've got this setting here, which normally it'll look like that, Dynamic Highlights. So you can turn on Dynamic Highlights and you've got both line traces and mouse cursor. Um, there's a couple of settings in there, but we'll just leave it as it is. Click compile and save, and that should autom pretty much automatically work. So our mouse cursor is here, and as we go over here, see it's highlighting to a different one. And that should even turn back off again. So the this is... Uh, was one of the most highly requested um, features and it will also go through well, it won't go through objects so it'll only highlight things that your player can actually interact with. Now the way this works is you've got two sets of channels so the default material used to have three channels and I've made it now with six so it's got depth group one, two, three, they are ones, and then it's got dynamic highlight groups one, two, and three. So for depth group one, dynamic highlight is one. So when you're highlighting depth group one, which is like the red outline ones, you get highlight group one, two, two, three, three. And that's pretty much it. So you can sit there and customize them and make them as different as you like. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how the new features work and look, um, if you have any questions or queries by all means please leave them in the comments below and hopefully that will help you guys out that have been requesting this for quite some time, sorry it took so long. Cheers.